In Cass County, a garden of pinwheels were planted to spread an important cause. Our Brenda Mack has more on today's child abuse prevention event. Once every minute, a child somewhere in America is abused physically or sexually and or emotionally. But the most disturbing part of that statistic is how often abuse is witnessed and ignored, felt and then forgotten. An abused child never forgets and neither should we. More than 400 pinwheels fill the lawn of the Cass County Courthouse, each symbolizing happiness and hope and what every child deserves. Children are our future. We are responsible providing a healthy and supportive environment for them to achieve and to be safe. April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. This year, Cass County officials take a step forward by participating in the nationwide Pinwheels for Prevention campaign. I think that we're so busy most of the time helping the children after the fact to work on more of the prevention and was important to us during this month of April to prevent child abuse. The Cass County Sheriff's Office say they investigate almost 300 child abuse cases a year. And officials say the only way to break the cycle of abuse is from the bottom up, and it starts with education. We, uh, as parents, are our children's first teachers before they ever get into school, and it's extremely important that we set those good examples, that we talk with our children, that we help educate them on the right ways to disagree with one another. Home visitation programs are just one of many resources available one phone call away. We want to be on the same playing field with them, develop a relationship of trust so that we can help them. Somewhere along the line, the cycle has to stop. And when people recognize that it isn't good, that it is harmful, I want to be able to be an agency that they can call out to so we can help them stop that cycle. In Walker, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. And you can visit our website for more information on that cause. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.